This is a brief demonstration of the process that faculty can use to export a Blackboard test that they have in one section and import it into another section. So here's an example course and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my course tools area of my control panel, go to test servers and pools, click on tests, and in the list of tests that appears I'm going to locate the test that I want to export and it's quiz 4. I'll click on the gray arrow next to it and I'll click export to local computer. What that will do is I will be able to save this compressed zip file to a location on my computer like so. So the next piece that I have to do here is to import that file into my other course. So I'm going to navigate to my other course where I want this uh, test to go and I'm going to go to the control panel, course tools, test surveys and pools, click on tests and I'm going to click import test. I'm going to click browse local files and I'm going to navigate to where I have that file downloaded and that's on my desktop. I'll select that file, click open, and click submit. Okay, I get the message that the process has been complete to import that package. And just as a final step here, just take a look at that quiz to make sure it has everything that I'm looking for. Yep, all the questions are here correctly marked as expected. That's great. So then the last piece is just to put that test into the relevant content area in the course. So that's a uh, quiz four. So I want that to go in my week four folder of my weekly lessons. So I'm going to click on week four, go to assessments, click test, and then in my list of existing tests, just click on my test, my quiz four, click submit. And now I just have to customize the options that apply to this section. So um, I'll make it available to students. Let's say that I want to allow students multiple attempts, I'll give them two chances. If I want to enable a timer, I can make this a 30 minute quiz that submits after 30 minutes has expired. If I need to, I can add an availability exception for an individual student needing an accommodation. So if I wanted to give this particular student an exception, I can allow her three attempts. I'll take off um, the timer so she has unlimited time to complete the test. Or if, uh, if uh, student accommodations tells you explicitly you have to double the amount of time, you can just change that value here. And I'll take auto submit off and then I'll choose the options that I want to show students once the test is submitted. So if I want to show the student what she submitted and provide feedback for correct and incorrect responses, I'll indicate that here in the feedback settings and then click submit. So there we are. Now the test is in the course and ready for students to complete it.